What are idioms? An idiom is an expression or phrase whose meaning does not relate to the literal meaning of its words. In other words, idioms mean something different than the individual words. People often confuse idioms with proverbs. However, both are two different things. Proverbs are well known for stating a piece of advice or general fact. In this lesson, we will look at top 30 idioms that are commonly used in the English language to get a better understanding on idioms in general. Common idioms Expressions, proverbs and idioms play an important role in written and spoken English. As idioms do not always make literal sense, we should be familiar with their meaning and how to use them. While there are hundreds of idioms, we would be covering the top 30 common idioms in English, explaining their meaning, and also how to use them in sentences. Get your act together, which means, get organized and do things effectively. Usage, you'd better get your act together, if you want a raise this year. Your guess is as good as mine, which means, I do not know. Usage, as to who will win this time, your guess is as good as mine. Go back to the drawing board, which means, start over. Usage, it's not too late to go back to the drawing board and assess our mistakes. Call it a day, which means, stop working on something. Usage, let's call it a day, and come back again tomorrow. Back against the wall, which means, stuck in a difficult circumstance with limited options. Usage, the company has its back against the wall, and may be bankrupt soon. Sell like hotcakes, which means, be a great commercial success. Usage, it is very hot outside. These ice creams will sell like hotcakes. Blow hot and cold, which means, to change mood frequently about something or someone. Usage, I don't think it's fair when people blow hot and cold and don't tell you clearly what they want. Eat like a horse, which means, to eat a lot, overindulge. Usage, I eat like a horse after a good walk along the beach, the sea air really stimulates my appetite. A bird in the hand is worth two in the bush, which means, it is better to be content with what you have, than risk losing it by trying to get something better. Usage, you may not like your job, but don't quit merely on the hope of finding a better one. A bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. Chip off the old block, which means someone who is similar to one's parents in behavior, character, or personality. Usage, John's dad is a great cook and he is a chip off the old block. Cry over spilt milk, which means to be upset about things that have already been done. Usage, it's no use crying over spilt milk, it was a bad investment, the money has been lost and there's nothing you can do. Every cloud has a silver lining, which means every negative occurrence has a positive aspect to it. Usage, though he had failed his exam, he realized that every cloud has a silver lining as now he could focus his attention on things he loved doing. Fair and square, which means, no cheating or lying involved, done according to the rules. Usage, the opponent punched him fair and square in the chest at the boxing match. Black sheep, which means, someone who is viewed as unlike the rest. 
Usage, I have always been the black sheep of my family. Everyone else has responsible jobs while I have chosen to be an artist. Hook, line and sinker, which means, doing something or trying to achieve something with thoroughness and passion. Usage, I have set my mind to go through the spreadsheets by Monday and I am working for it, hook, line and sinker. By the skin of your teeth, which means, barely manage to do something. Usage, after being chased by the police a long way, the criminal managed to escape by the skin of his teeth. Easier said than done, which means, to explain that a task is easier to talk about than perform. Usage, it's easier said than done when it comes to convincing people that something is true. Break a leg, which means, to wish someone luck, especially before a performance. Usage, break a leg, shouted the stage director to his actors before the beginning of the play. A fish out of water, which means, being uncomfortable and restless. Usage, our new teacher looked like a fish out of water, nobody was aware of the issue that she raised. Lose your marbles, which means, to go insane. Usage, our mailman has lost his marbles, every day he drops someone else's mail on our door. Straight from the horse's mouth, which means, from a direct or first-hand source. Usage, you need not believe me. Go talk to him and hear it straight from the horse's mouth. Skating on thin ice, which means, to do something considered quite dangerous or risky. Usage, I feel their decision to get married after meeting just a week ago, is like skating on thin ice. Play devil's advocate which means, to argue, just for the sake of it. Usage, he was not agreeing to back off, as if he was playing the devil's advocate. Take a rain check, which means, refuse an offer politely, but imply that it can be taken up later. Usage, he said he would take a rain check on visiting us today. Like father like son, which means, father and son behave the same way in certain things, or have the same sense of humor, or some other quality. Usage, Dan is really kind and always gives his seat up for a lady. Like father like son. Throw caution to the winds, which means, to take a decision without caring about the negative consequences that come with it. Usage, she throws caution to the winds every time she goes shopping. The whole nine yards, which means, everything, all the way. Usage, I want to know everything there is to know about this merger, the whole nine yards of the deal. Ignorance is bliss, which means, to not get affected by something that is not known. Usage, I was wonderfully happy using my hair dryer every day and ignorance was bliss, until I found out how much electricity it consumed. Bite the bullet, which means, to endure a painful experience that you cannot avoid. Usage, when the time comes, I'll bite the bullet and take the punishment without a fuss. Beating around the bush which means, avoid talking about the main topic. Usage, will you please stop beating around the bush and get to the point? Thank you.